Okay, for next question is given that upper half of a convex lens. Convex lens ke, ke upper half ko is covered here have black paper. See, we have to draw a ray diagram to show the formation of image of an object at a distance of 2f from such a lens and then mention the position and nature of the image formed. We have to know, write down the observable difference in the image obtained if the lens is uncovered and we have to give the reason for that as well. So, first of all, we make a ray diagram when object is placed at 2f. So, let's say this is the convex lens. This is a convex lens. And this is principal axis. Let this be the principal axis. And this is the optical center. And <clears throat> let this be first principal focus. Let this be F1. And 2F1. 2 and 2F2. Now the object is placed at a distance of 2F. So let's say this object is denoted by AB and it's placed at 2F. For in the first case, we are not going to cover the lens and let's see how the image is formed. So the image will be formed. Let's draw a parallel line that will go through the second principal focus. And if a line is drawn through the optical center, that will strike this here or ye aapki jo image banegi ye bhi banegi 2f2 pe so this is exactly where the image is formed so you can mark this accordingly so this is a dash b dash and it's formed at the center of the region 2f2 okay <clears throat> now also, uh, let's give the direction to the rays of light. Otherwise, half marks will be detected for each of these. Okay, this is how the image is formed when the lens is uncovered. Okay, now let's cover the upper half of the lens. So I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to copy the same image. And this time, I'm going to cover the, cover the upper half of the lens. So if the upper half of the lens is covered, that means now the rays of light cannot pass through the upper half. So now the upper half of the lens is covered. <coughs> so now we don't have these rays of light. This upper half is covered. Okay, the object Okay, now that means now the rays of light will only pass through the lower half and through the lower half let, let's draw some rays of light. So let's say this is one ray of light that passes through the lower half, the lower half and let this be another ray of light that goes through the lower half, let this be the object AB. And these rays of light, these rays of light will intersect. After refraction, these rays of light will intersect at, after refraction, these rays of light will intersect at 2 and 2. Okay, still the image is formed. This is the image formed. Okay, still the image is formed. Now, when it's written in the question, this is when lens, upper half of the lens is covered. So this is when upper half the lens is covered. So this is A and this is B. Okay, now <clears throat> we have to mention the position nature of the image formed when the upper half of the lens is covered with the black paper. So in this case, the position of the image is at, so let me write down the, 
position of image. So it's still add to that. Now, and on the other side of the uh, lens, and nature is because this ray is, this image is formed by the actual intersection of the rays. So the nature of the image is real and inverted. Okay, now, what is the observable difference in the image obtained if the lens is uncovered? So, observable difference, so what would be the observable difference in the image? Observable difference क्या रहेगी उस इमेज में अगर लेंस आपका uncovered है तो इसलिए मैंने दोनों ray diagram बनाया जब लेंस uncovered है और जब half of the lens is covered so observable difference ये है कि जो brightness of image है वो increase हो जाएगी क्यों So brightness of image will increase because in this case there will be a lot of rays of light which will pass through the whole lens and in this case there will be a lot of rays of light which will pass through the whole part This means that the more rays of light will be the more bright image So the reason is that the more number of rays will be the more bright image So the more number of rays will pass through the lens the lens to form the image yeah, okay um, this question may do we put I think we have answered everything so let's move on to the next question 